What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And I'm back here today on Madden 20 for another rebuild and today we are doing the New York Jets. So this is I think like my 8th or ninth Madden rebuild so far. We're still going for our first Super Bowl. I think I've made it to the Super Bowl in the last two. So hopefully today we can take the Jets to the Super Bowl. So obviously the Jets, they made a big splash shining on the offensive side in the offseason. They got wavy on Bell who is our best offensive player. Sam Darnold is currently out with mono, but in this injuries are off, so he will be there. Receiving-wise, we do have Robbie Anderson, Jay Crowder, or Jay Crowder. <laughs> oh, not Jay Crowder. Jamison Crowder, and then Demarius Thomas there. Robbie Anderson, Temple made. Um, he's got some interesting hair, too, there. Uh, on the offense, we have former Steeler Kelvin Beecham. Uh, Clushy Assembly? I did not know he was a Jet. Maybe the, uh, the um, Raiders released him i don't know if he was a raider maybe i'm tripping ryan Khalil, brian winters and uh shell griffin yeah we need o-line and tight end help definitely and probably receiver help but hopefully darnold will develop to be our quarterback in this video and we're fine at running back now defensive side of things they did sign cj mosley in the offseason um so he will be our middle linebacker one looking for a middle linebacker two and probably some outside linebackers jamal adams though is probably the most important part to this team he is a strong safety he was drafted what in 2016 2017 um so he will be uh pretty much our main defender along with mosley now we do have marcus may here who is fairly young i believe he was taken after adams in the second round that year uh so he does have a couple skill points i guess that they're gonna do i just wanted to see how young he was um he is 26, so we're good with him uh corners is definitely gonna be something now tremaine johnson i believe is making a boatload of money uh, I'm going to trade him, actually. So we're going to do that. Um, I know Leonard Williams is due for an extension, and Quinn Williams, the top five pick that they took in the um, Quinnen Williams um, in the draft. So we're good there. We're going to need another, or what is that, a left end, or right end, excuse me. Um, but yeah, let's get to trading some guys. Oh, we have Avery Williamson. Okay, so maybe I didn't. I don't need another uh, outside or middle linebacker. So I want to see if I can move these three guys. Um, to a team, um, Tremaine Johnson making a lot of money. Like, would Buffalo give me their first round pick for these guys? We'll see. Uh, maybe. Um, wow. Okay, maybe I could have gotten something better than that. So yeah, we did trade away both our corners and Copeland uh, for a first round pick. Maybe I didn't have to give up that much. So I'm sorry there, but I want to maintain some flexibility. Uh, Robbie Anderson, he's only 26. Leonard Williams, damn, he already has a huge cap hit. Uh, Winners is 28, maybe. But I kind of want to trade Demaryius Thomas. Oh, Shemley's 30, so we might look to move him as well. All right, so I traded Stevie McClendon, another former Steeler. Uh, Alex Lewis, a left guard, who actually had like a $2 million cap hit, and a fourth-round pick for Quinton, uh, Quinton Nelson. Uh, he'll be a good guard for us. Now, I do also want to move, I believe, um, someone else. Who was the other guy I wanted to trade? Uh, was it winners? No. Oh, it was Oshemway. Okay, so I want to see if I can maybe get a first from a team for Oshemway that really needs a guard. Uh, Browns, no. Broncos, okay. They could have, surely have a good first-round pick. Let's see. I doubt they'll do this, but, like, we can always test it. Okay. Yeah, we might have to look to a team that um, is a little bit better. Uh, like, the Vikings could be a team. So, let's see if they would do this. If not, I don't mind getting a second. Um, oh, so that's really close. Okay, so what about if I did that and I threw in, like, a seventh next year? Would they do this? Please? So close. Ooh, Kelvin Beecham is an $8 million cap hit. So, we're going to probably try to move him here. Um, I'm going to take out Jenkins. So, we're going to do a Shemley and Be uh, Beecham for a first-round pick. Uh, they can't afford it. Huh. I want to see if, like, mm, the Bears don't value them. Uh, let's see if there's a good Seahawks. They have the money. Let's see if they would do the f a first-round pick for Oshemley and Beecham. And they, mm, they wouldn't. I feel like there's a team that I wouldn't have to throw in a pick here. Saints, maybe. 24th pick. I think they'll do this. And they don't do it. Wow. Okay. Does any team value these guys? Like, okay, Raiders do. Oh, Raiders, but their first-round pick... I'll try to get this one uh, from the Bears. Uh, so they accept that. So we get this first round pick for Oshemo. You beat him. Not bad. I think that's the Bears first. So uh, we have 50 million in cap space. I want to be bad. That's kind of what we're getting at. Uh, so we can have a topic in the draft. Now we're going to have three first round picks, I believe, at this current moment or two. Um, how many do we have at this current moment? Yeah, like offensive line is going to be really bad. If we look at our team, we have three first round picks. And okay, so we're good there. Uh, anybody else I want to trade? Uh, let's see. Anybody kind of over 28? Mm, Brian Winters. I think I might look to move him in the offseason. Unless, like, oh, no. De Demarius Thomas is somebody I definitely want to move. Anybody else? 28, Ryan Henderson. Eh. Uh, 30, Bilal Powell. Okay, so what could I get uh, for these two guys? Redskins. I want to see if there's a team that's 
in, or uh, that has green interest for both these guys. If not, uh, it seems like Demarius Thomas is green from some teams. And Blow at least has... Okay, so Dolphins, I mean... Uh, let's try to get this pick, I believe, from the Steelers. <laughs> I don't think they'll do this. Wow, it's close. Okay. Um, so we are definitely going to do this trade. Uh, I will send off a next year's fourth. Maybe it could have done a fifth, but let's get that done anyway. So we pick up that. I believe that'll be the Steelers pick. So yeah, we're going to be pretty bad this year. I'm going to trade probably Winters in the offseason. Now, if we do look at players to negotiate, I do want to see who'll be a free agent for us. Now, uh, Leonard Williams, Anderson, both want to bring back. I want to bring back both those guys and probably Poole too as like a third corner because he's only 26. And everybody else here, I don't really care for. Uh, maybe just my punter. Uh, so I want to work on Leonard Williams. Let's see. Let's give him a four-year deal we can give you a five-year deal maybe he'll like that more uh just walk him up completely that's a lot of money and he will come on there there we go so we get him back uh anderson i wouldn't mind as a second or a third receiver in this video doesn't want a decent amount of money um but he's an 83 and he's only 26 so he's gonna get better each year so we'll give him 7.5 hopefully he accepts that um Okay, you know, we'll just, we'll test him in the offseason, or I'll make sure I get him back in the offseason and pull as like a good slot corner. Will he accept that deal? And he will. Okay, so he'll be like our slot corner. So yeah, that'll be it for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We might go 0-16. All right, guys, so we end this season uh, with a 4-12 record. All right, so it helps out our draft pick. I'll take that. Uh, so if we do check out the stats for this year's season, hopefully Darnold had a promising year, but 29th, but he didn't miss a couple games. Okay, that's a very solid touchdown interception ratio. 3,100 yards, 68 completion percentage. All right. Uh, rushing the ball, Le'Veon Bell was pretty solid for what the O-line we have and I guess the team we have. Nine touchdowns, uh, zero fumbles, 1,200 yards. Love that. Definitely need a backup in the offseason. Jamison Crowder was our leading receiver. Obviously, I believe he was in the slot. Uh, Robbie Anderson. And then there's uh, Christopher Hurt. Herndon the fourth. He's actually a pretty young tight end that maybe will uh, just be our starting tight end through this video. We'll see, though. Uh, Brandon Snell was bad, but uh, Winters and Nelson are the only ones that are good. But I'm probably going to trade Winters in the offseason. Marcus May, us in tackles, then Mosley, then Poole. Sacks-wise, 7.5 for Jenkins. Williams at 3.5. And, and where's... uh? Wait, am I tripping? Quinton Williams. Where's the... Uh, the Where's the other good lineman? Uh, wait. Okay, now I'm drawing a blank on who even is. Or oh, Leonard Williams. There it is. One and a half socks. Damn. All right. Uh, the Williams is. So, uh, Williams plural. Four interceptions for Brian Bull like that. Three for Adams. All right. So, let's get here into the offseason. We definitely have to upgrade our players, though. So, I want to see. Uh, maybe Sam Darnold has like five points. He's three. So, he'll be up to his 76. Hmm. We'll see. Uh, so... Okay, uh, yeah, let's just advance to the offseason. Now, I do have to bring back Robbie Anderson. I do want to bring him back. And then I obviously want to be a big player in free agency, especially if there's an offensive lineman or an outside linebacker that could cause your interest. Now, uh, we do want to bring back... Jordan Jenkins is only 26. Um, let me bring back my punter, so I don't have to worry about that later on. We do have $41 million in cap space, and obviously with our quarterback being Sam Darnold... Um, we don't have to pay him a lot of money yet, uh, so we might want to spend that money now. Robbie Anderson, it's about what I offered him before. It's definitely more than, mm, okay, it's more than what he wants. Please accept this, and he is coming back. Good. He's an 84 at the current moment. Jenkins, I'll offer him what this. Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'm actually going to spend that in free agency. I don't want to uh, spend that on Jenkins because we also have three first-round picks, so we can add three first-round talents to this team. And one of those could be an outside linebacker. Um, Chase Young. Kind of want Chase Young. Having Chase Young, Quinton Williams, and Leonard Williams on the D-line would be pretty scary. So we have, what, $29 million in cap space. Melvin Gordon is here. We do not need running backs. Chris Jones, interesting. But we do run a 3-4. Kendall Fuller, we do need a corner. Austin Hooper, not bad. Yannick Ngakwe. That would just, like, complete the defensive line. So we could do that. Mike Daniels, but he's 31. Okay, True Prees. Uh, Marcus Peters, also not a bad option, but of course all the corners are getting bid on. Ronald Darby, uh, he's not a scheme fit. Mike Hilton's a scheme fit, but look at the Seahawks. They're going after him hard. All right, so we are looking at a backup running back, so I just want to get one out of the way. Some fairly cheap running back down here because Le'Veon's obviously going to play. Like Rex Burkhead, he's 30 years old. Why not? I'm just going to make sure I get him. So we're going to pick him up. Um, yeah, what a huge signing, right? Uh, so let's look at receivers. Aguilar, Sanders, Gordon. Josh Gordon's interesting. I'm going to put in a really insulting offer to Josh Gordon, like three and a half mil, and we'll see if anybody signs him. 
Uh, sorry, this is going to be really bad. Uh, so we'll see how many points this is. 45 total points. Hey, if I get him on that, I'll definitely take that uh, value. Now, tight end. Not going to spend big money on a tight end at the moment. Left tackle. No upgrades here. We're good at go uh, left guard because of uh, uh, Nelson. Center. No good centers. Right guards. Uh, geez, free agency offensive line is not good because Jack Conklin's going to get paid. Uh, so we're not going to test that. Olivier Vernon is a scheme fit. So we're hope. Ziggy Ansah, I feel like he was really good at one point. I feel like he fell off. Javon Hargrave, we don't need D tackles, right end. We could go after Nagakwe. What I'm going to also do um, is what I did to Josh Gordon since nobody's bidding on him. We will throw him a pretty insulting bid, um, and we'll see if he accepts it. Uh, so we'll see. 66 total points. Hey, if I get him on that cheap of a deal, I have to accept that. Uh, outside linebacker, Dante Fowler, mm, but he's getting bid on. Uh, Devondre Campbell, a lot of these guys getting bid on where I don't want to spend that much money. Uh, so we might adjust that in the draft. And then I kind of do want to spend my big money here on a corner, either being Fuller or Peters. But obviously Fuller scheme fit, 89 overall. It's going to be costing us a lot of money here, but uh, I think I'm going to trade winners anyway. So that could clear up a million. All right, so I'm actually going to trade Brian Winters and then I'll offer Kendall Fuller a deal. Yeah, he has a 7.5 million cap hit. Now, I don't know if there's anybody else with a huge cap hit that I just don't need. Jeez, Williams cap hit is kind of huge. So... Uh, nobody in the millions. Oh, Josh Bellamy, we could definitely try to get rid of. Uh, J Jonathan Harrison. All right, so we'll get rid of these guys. That will clear up a decent amount of money. Bears, they don't have their first-round pick, so I don't really want to go after them. But I, I want to see, I don't know if a first, uh, maybe a first to a good team. So actually, the Vikings do like winners in Bellamy, but you'll get their cap space, not a lot. Titans, I want to find a team that likes both of them, at least. Okay, so the Saints do, and they have cap space, and they'll have a late first-round pick. Ooh, it's the 12th. We'll see. I don't think they'll accept that. It's close, but I think we're going to have to trade these guys to a good team. Maybe Baltimore, they have a good, or a low first 19. I don't know. They really like Bellamy or Bellamy. Uh, so they actually accept that. So we get a first out of that. Sweet. Now I'm going to sign Kendall Fuller or Kyle. Kyle? Kendall? I believe it's Kendall. <laughs> I don't think I'm tripping now. So yeah, that definitely cleared, cleared up a lot of cap space. Kendall Fuller. Now I'm going to actually offer him a decent amount. We'll offer him 9.8. 6.2 signing bonus. Is that enough points? 98 total. Let's hope he chooses us over the Redskins. And then, honestly, do I offer... Uh, I don't think I'm going to offer anybody else a deal. Uh, we could offer maybe a cheap receiver if I don't get one in the draft. Like DeMarcus, ah, I don't want to bid on these guys. David Moore? Okay, we could offer him a one-year deal. Uh, why not? One-year deal. Uh, actually, you know, I don't even know what I'm doing there. So we'll advance the day. We'll, or yeah, or week. We'll see if we get Gordon. We'll see if we get Nagakwe. We'll see if we get Fuller. Damn, I lose out on Fuller. Oh, that hurts. I should have paid him more money. We get Nagakwe on that really cheap deal though. All right. So let's pray that Peters or Darby didn't sign. I'm going to guess they probably did. Uh, I don't think Melvin Gordon's, Melvin Gordon's a quarterback. So this game is, uh, Okay, I lost Wi-Fi. Nice. All right, so here we are. Let's see. Corners. Okay, Verrett might be the best option. He's 29, though. I mean, do you think I can get a first for Verrett if I didn't like a sign and trade? I might. Hargraves is only 78. Or he's only 78. He's only 25. So you know what? I And nobody's offered him a deal. He's not a scheme fit. He's got normal development. But I want to see if I can just get him for a pretty cheap deal. Him and Poole would be just kind of at least respectable, maybe. Um, 59 total points. I'm cool with that. Uh, so if we get these guys on cheap deals, like if I, oh wait, I do want to see, uh, Josh Gordon, what he's looking like. If a team's going to outbid me, cause then I'm just going to withdraw it. Uh, Josh Gordon is, yeah, he's going to get outbid. So we're not going to sign him. Uh, if there's a receiver though, uh, Tajay Sharp, Chris Conley, David Moore, Josh Doxson, sign on a one-year deal. Uh, We'll actually give him a two-year deal, but I'm going to really lowball him. Um, I'm going to barely pay him, give him a minimum. We'll see if he accepts that. 37 total points, but that might be the best deal he gets out there. All right, so we get Hargraves and Doxon, and we can always save this money for next free agency. I always don't have to sign guys now. So we are going to have, what, four first-round picks? Four, I believe. So, yeah, this is going to be a huge draft for us. Uh, I don't know exactly where they are. Let me actually double-check because, hey, um, this could be an insane draft for us. So we are going to have three 13 16 and 19 and 24 so five first round picks Whew. all right o-line maybe receiver and a linebacker is what my plan is okay guys so i traded my 24th pick uh because andrew thomas just got drafted 
Um, and I wanted him, but the Dolphins took him. And a fifth for Brandon Scherf. Scherf, yeah. So him and Nelson will be on the guard spot. I did draft the tackle. You guys will see all my picks in a second. All right, guys. So here's the draft recap. I'm actually pretty happy with this draft. So uh, Chase Young, 79. Uh, he'll be very good on the D-line with the Williams. Uh, Trey Smith, he'll be a left tackle for this year. CJ Anderson, he'll be at the corner spot with Hargreaves and Brian Poole. I did go Shaheem Carter because I felt like everybody else was going to be a reach. I know we don't need him, so he or Marcus May could be a trade candidate. And then I did finish up um, kind of the top picks with Trey Adams, a right tackle. Went TJ McCoy center, and then these guys are just eh. All right, so let's see what the lineup is going to be going into the year. Another year where I don't care really. I mean, Mike, I care how we do, but if we're bad, we're bad. So we have Adams. Okay, it's perfect. So we have the rookie tackles that'll be interesting we have a rookie center but we have sure nelson um and then her uh her don yeah so we'll see how he does at the tight end spot if he kind of underperforms we can look at that in the offseason rex burkhead will be the fullback okay but yeah we have darnold Le'Veon bell uh anderson and Nuwa and crowder i guess uh, we did send Doxon. i would have liked josh gordon in here but it is what it is i was thinking about drafting henry ruggs but i was just like we need other things besides receivers. So, mm, oh, wait. Okay, so what I wanted to do here or figure out, can Nagakwe play outside linebacker or Chase Young? Because I know, I forgot I got him. So, um, view and depth. I guess, is this the way to edit them? It might be because Madden isn't that functional. Okay, so if we go over to, uh, if we go over to right outside linebacker, what would their overall be? Nagakwe would be 85. Oh, perfect. Okay, so he's going to be the um, right outside linebacker. And so we'll see how that works out. I have no idea if it will, so uh, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, Young's gonna be the right end, and then Gakwa will be the right outside linebacker. Williamson mostly left outside linebacker, still kind of thin. Uh, Carter, I don't know if he could be a slot corner, but Henderson will have there. Pool, Hargraves, cool. So yeah, Carter could be a trade guy or May. We'll see how they do. And then obviously we have Jalen Adams over there. Special teams. Um, Edwards. Okay, so I have to sign a kicker, my bad. So I'm going to sign a kicker. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and hopefully these guys just develop. That's all we need them to do. All right, guys, so at the end of the season, I just uh, um, um, upgraded everybody. We went 8-8. Eight and eight. Okay, that's improvement. That's what I like to see. We went four games this year. We're only going to have one first-time pick going in the draft. Maybe I'll trade it. Maybe I won't. Darnold, 3,800 yards, 29 touchdowns, 12 picks. I think he's got an 80 or an 81 at the moment. Uh, rushing the ball, Le'Veon was probably a beast. Yeah, 240 yards. Uh, 1,200, or 240 attempts, excuse me, 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns, zero fumbles. Burkhead got in the end zone four times. Receiving the wise, I do want to get a number one in the offseason. Uh, Crowder was our one probably because he was our slot. Herndon, all right, good year from him. All right, so maybe I'll keep him around. Maybe we won't have to scramble for a tight end. Robbie Anderson, not bad either, but I view him more as a number two, not a number one. Sacks wise, the rookie, oof, Trey Smith, first round pick. Didn't do great, or no, I believe he was the second round pick. No, no, Trey Adams. <laughs> wow, I kind of disregarded both their names for Trey, but yeah, hopefully we just improve that off that. CJ Mosley was a beast. Williamson Hargraves had 91 tackles. All right. Sack wise, Gakwe, six and a half. Williams, six. Young, six. Five and a half for Williamson. Okay. And then interceptions, Mosley had three. Hargraves had two. And then a bunch of people had one. All right. So free agency time. Is that Adams? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have to pay Jay, Jamal Adams a lot of money. Ugh. And it's not looking great on the cap room side of things. So, ooh. Maybe I should have traded May. Okay, the reason I might trade Marcus May, I, I, I'm probably going to sign him and then trade him, is because that uh, first or second round, first round pick guy, I forgot his name already. Um, we can go over to him. So Adams is a 77, Smith's a 78, McCoy 72. We are going to look for a center. Center and wide receiver on the offensive side. But yeah, uh, Carter. What's his first name? Um, Shaheem Carter. He's from Alabama. He's already kind of better. Already. So I think I'm going to sign May and trade him. I should have checked that he was going to be a free agent. So we're really just going to look for outside linebacker, corner, receiver, and center. And I think we're set to compete next year. So Darnold is an 80. Leighton's a 94. All right. But obviously, got to bring back Jalen Adams. We're going to have kind of no cap space. It's... Yeah, because mainly there's four free agents. Uh, yeah, these three are the important ones. Um, these, t okay, Williamson, I might trade too because he's 29. But let's work on getting Adams back. So Adams, let's pay him a lot of money. Uh, he's going to be a big cap. He wants over $100 million. Jeez. Uh, yeah, he, he'll accept that. So let's offer that to him. There we go. So we get Adams back, Jamal Adams. Um, now, Williamson and May, I'm probably going to trade both these guys. Uh, so let's sign Williamson. Um, please accept that. Thank you. And then May, please tell me we have enough money. He doesn't want too much. Yeah, we will. Okay, so let's sign him. 
Um, let me just make sure I definitely got him cool. So we're going to sign May. Uh, we'll get a kicker in the offseason, so I'm not going to worry about Badgley too much. Edwards will bring back, um, just because I don't really want to deal with having a, a, a punter on my conscience. And he does come back. So do we want to bring back Jordan Willis? I mean, he's only 26. You know what? He could be a good depth guy. And my game is going to lost Wi-Fi again. All right, so back on mine, I think I am going to bring back Jordan Willis. Oh, uh, we might not even have enough money. So, yeah, we're not even going to have enough money. So, I don't think I can trade at the moment. But Williamson is 29 and May we just don't need. So, I'm going to be trading, I think, both of them. I might be able to get a first for Williamson. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then we can maybe use that money to go after a receiver and free agency. So, uh, let's see who I want to move. Um, uh, what? Not who I want to move. Ha, who I want to move them to. So, I, I don't think we're going to package them together. Uh, so Marcus May, there's got to be a team that wants a free safety that would maybe offer me a first, right? Uh, Bucks, I'm probably not going to have a great first round pick, right? 18. I would take the 18 pick for May, unless they have an excess. Like, I'm, I'm not getting uh, freaking Mike Evans. What is Godwin's overall? Oh, they don't even have Godwin anymore. Okay. Uh, tight end. Uh, nah, I was fine with our tight end. I mean, would they trade me OJ Howard for Marcus May? Nah, right? Probably not. Wow, they did that. You know what? I'll take O.J. Howard. It helps out our offense. Um, even though Hernan did pretty well. Hernan. And I said I wasn't going to trade him. It's great. Uh, he's probably going to be better than who I was going to draft in my first round pick. Anyway, but now, Williamson. So what I could do is trade for him for a first. Or I could maybe look for a cheaper middle linebacker. That could be, that's like an 80 overall. That would be uh, fairly cheap. So let's see. Like Devin White, but no. Levante David is too expensive. And they wouldn't accept that for Devin White. He's too young. Uh, Colts. Darius Leonard, I thought he was a middle linebacker. Maybe he's an outside. Jalen Smith, I I don't want to take somebody with a huge cap hit. McMillan would be pretty good. I don't know how much I'm saving, and I don't think they would do that. Yeah, okay. So we have to really... Oh, OJ Howard, I definitely took on money there. Though. That was probably huge. So the Giants here just did... What's your first round pick? 27? I would take the 27th pick for Williamson. Um, wow, they don't even accept that. So let me offer uh, somebody down here. Let me just offer... Do I have anybody like... But like that's like a bet overall that I could definitely move. That's making a lot of money. Who's got a big cap hit down here? Nobody. Uh, seven fifty for that guy. Anybody in a million down here? Um, Doxson. All right, I'll probably trade Doxson actually. All right, Doxson and Williamson for the twenty seventh pick, and they accept that. All right, so uh, we have the twenty seventh pick now. So that means we have two first, but we really can't trade that for a, guy, a special guy because. We don't have any cap space. So going to free agency, we have 5 million. No, I'm kidding. We have negative million. Oh. All right, yeah, Godwin's in free agency. Godwin would have been nice. Um, all right, so I have definitely didn't fill any of my holes yet. I need a center. Um, maybe I'll trade OJ Howard, actually. All right, so I'm going to be trading OJ Howard in a seventh rounder. Of course not. Um, so I'm going to be trading OJ Howard and probably a sixth rounder. Uh, so yeah, we really need... Left outside linebacker um, for a first to the Falcons. What, bro? Okay, just take my sixth and my seventh. I'm not trading a fifth right now. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to trade that to the uh, Falcons for a first, which I could use on a corner or a center. Probably center it might be the best option. So now I'm free agency. Please tell me I have money. We have no money. How do I How do I trade that and only clear up two mil? All right, it's whatever. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get another first round pick. So obviously I can't sign anybody here. Which kind of sucks because I really want to sign people, but it is what it is. So what we are going to look for in the draft is receiver, um, corner. But corner is not going to be, I think, our number one. Mm, let me look at our team. All right. So center, center, I would say. Um, receiver, definitely. Center, receiver, middle linebacker, and corner. Huh. Oh, and left outside linebacker. Maybe I shouldn't have traded Williamson. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe I should have traded Le'Veon for like a first or something in year one and then just signed Kareem Hunt for a really cheap deal. So Ryan Ramos looks like he's a guy here. Ugh, he doesn't look that good. Uh, so we are here with the 15 pick. We also have 15, 25, and 27. Uh, corner is something that I definitely need. This guy, mm, he's kind of slow. Uh, right guard, no. So I am looking for, like I said, uh, those four positions. Do I take Ryan Ramos? Doesn't look that good. Uh, he's got good ratings, though. David Talley, we're not drafting a quarterback, even though... No, I'm not drafting a quarterback. So, what was it? I need receiver. Uh, God, I don't even want to touch those, but this guy might have taken this... Mm, this combine wasn't that good. Um, uh, tight end, no. Could have had OJ Howard, so I'm not even going to interest that. Center, 
Might draft like Duncan Wayne, but I don't know. Um, outside linebacker, we do need another middle linebacker. Uh, this guy looks like he could be solid. And then corner. So uh, we'll have multiple first round picks. I'm going to, I think, draft this outside linebacker. So please tell me he's good. Please tell me he's good. Please tell me he's above a 74. Uh, please tell me he's above a 74. Nah. All right, so draft recap. These drafts kind of suck because, like, I wanted to draft other positions, but it's just they had red, like, scouting things. And I just feel like they wouldn't be bad. Like, they'd be, like, below 70s. So, like, yeah, we got three 70 pluses in the first round, but it's a D tackle to left end, like, positions I don't really need. So maybe they'll develop. We might need a fourth year if we actually want to contend because we still weren't in a receiver. It's Robbie Anderson, Jamison Crowder, and what? Quincy Inua. If I'm even lucky if it's Quincy Inua. Um, our receiving core is probably really bad. It's Inua, yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, maybe I should trade Le'Veon Bell. Might think about that. Um, but so we'll just hope these guys develop this year. Uh, on the defensive side of things, the defense can be very good. Um, they want to start Ramos. We'll have Chase Young. No, he's got to... He's got to play. Could he play left outside linebacker? <laughs> I'm switching him from right end to left outside linebacker. It's probably not a great idea. Screw it. We're doing it anyway. I'm sorry. Uh, that might piss off a lot of hardcore Madden fans, but I just wanted to give everybody playing time. And then on defense, um, maybe, you know what? Since I did draft this Vic guy, we're going to switch to a 4-3. A so yeah, we're going to run a 4-3 so we can get everybody playing time this year. We could go back to a 3-4. So we have Hargraves, Poole. And Henderson there. We'll see how everyone does. And I'll see you guys at the end of the third season. And you know what? Maybe this team could make the playoffs. All right, guys. So we end the season after I just upgraded players. And I think we made the playoffs. We went 11-5 and five and won the division. Let's go. All right. Sam Darnold. 11 in passing yards. 30 touchdowns. 10 interceptions. I'll take that, Sam. All right. Rushing the ball. Leaving him almost 1,600 yards. That means he almost had 100 yards a game. 16 touchdowns, 2 fumbles. An incredible year by Le'Veon. Incredible. Receiving-wise, I don't know how... Uh, I mean, Crowder produced. He definitely did. Anua. Her, not, not bad. We had 4 guys with 65-plus receptions. I'll take that. Bell also had 400 yards in the receiving game. Our receiving core is not that good, though. So, we'll see how far that takes us. Trey Smith, 9 sacks. He gave up, what, double-digit last year. But hey, uh, it's nice to see Trey Adams only gave up four. Defensive-wise, Mosley, um, 107 tackles. Cashman, um, whatever he had. Um, Sacks-wise, Young had nine. All right. Williams had uh, seven and seven, so that's 14. Uh, 14 plus nine would equal 23. So pretty good year from those three. Mosley, six. Nagakwe, four and a half. Interceptions. Uh, two for Poole, two for Adams, one for Carter, Cashman, Henderson, and Hargrave. All right, so we'll look to see who we're facing in round one. Please, I guess we only need to do three seasons because I built this an 11-5 team. All right, we're taking on the Colts. A lot of you guys said you want to see some gameplay. So you know what? We'll play the moments. I'm not going to play every moment. I might not even play the defensive moments. I think I'm just going to play the offensive moments. So this is quick, but we'll see how I do. I'm not, I, I haven't played a lot of Madden 20, so I'm, I'm nervous. This might be a total failure. All right, so I'm not going to do defensive moments, like I said. Looks like they're going for it on fourth down, fourth and five, and I guess we got to stop. All right, so first quarter drive. Let's see how we do. If I, if I don't do well to start this off, we might just sim cast it to the end. All right, so obviously we have um, one of the best running backs in the NFL. Now, I don't know how well uh, RPO screens work, so I'm just going to audible to a Come on. All right, so unfortunately, the game restarted, and we give up a touchdown, and now we're playing in the snow? What? All right, well, now we're in the red zone, so can we actually play now? If this, if, if it kicks me out again, I'm not playing it, so let's see what we got. Le'Veon Bell, we got Henderson. Oh, God, our receiving core is not good. Le'Veon Bell, behind a good old line. Oh, what am I doing? I spin the wrong way. All right, um, I believe this is all Madden, um, so we'll see how this goes. We are down 7 nothing. Let's try this RPO. Oh, God, no, I hate those receive. Uh, I hate those screens where the it's just a bubble screen. It's way better when it's just like a hard screen. All right, wow, this O-line's helping out a lot. Uh, we're on the two. Le'Veon is killing it so far. Do I just go right at Le'Veon again? Um, kind of want to go right with Le'Veon again, so let's... Where do I pass it? You know, let's pass the ball. Screw it, screw it. Screw it. Oh, my God, I'm going to throw a pick. I'm going to throw a pick. I'm going to throw a pick. Anyone, please? Oh, my God. What the hell was that, Darnold? They're going to sack the box. All right, Anyone, can you actually get open? Darnold, throw the ball, please. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Oh, my God. I suck. <laughs> now it's third and call. <laughs> I don't know why I just didn't keep running the ball. All right. All right. All right. We're going we're gonna to score here. We're going to score here. We're going to end. Oh, yeah. We're scoring. Who is Cromarty? Who is my backup running back? Why is Le'Veon not in? Just get one yard. 
Thank you. All right, touchdown, tie game. All right, so next key moment, let's see what we got. Like I said, uh, big third down stop, make the stop. Nope, not gonna do that. And we're gonna give up another touchdown, great. All right, so we're driving now. Uh, third down, what is it, third and five. Uh, let's see what we got, we'll go double slants. We can go that, okay. Um, a new, uh, Darnold is kind of mobile, right? What am I doing? Oh, that's gonna get, wow, I don't know how that pass got in there. I was like, that is so risky. All right, so keep moving the ball, red zone alert. All right, let's get in the end zone. Let's score. Wavy on, is this gonna work? Oh, this is a screenplay. Uh, we'll just do stack. All right, uh, so who's open, who's open, who's open? Oh, I see you, I see you across the middle. Robbie Henderson down at the three. All right, now let's get up, let's hurry up, let's hurry up. Uh, I wanna do a, I guess run plays aren't gonna work here. Uh, so quick pass, Robbie Anderson. Come on, Robbie. It's uh, Robbie. Oh my God, and he fumbles. Get the ball, lineman or Bell. Jesus, <laughs> we just lost five yards there. Great. So now it is a what? Second and goal from the eight. All right, we got this. We got this. So uh, let's. Well, two minute warning. All right, let's try running it. Maybe we'll catch him off guard. I don't know. The inside zones have been working. All right, Wavion, get up field, touchdown. Mm, nope, down at the one. All right, let's hurt. Let's huddle up. Uh, no huddle, huddle up. What am I saying? Um, let's just. Shove it down their throats. Our running has been very good, and we have our second rushing touchdown of the day. It's a snow game. You know you got to be running the ball. So Le'Veon gets into the end zone and is a tie game. Can we get a defensive stop, please? Okay, there we go. Red zone. Um, Screen pass. All right, let's try the screen. Oh, Le'Veon. Taking this to the house. I want nothing less than a touchdown here, Le'Veon. Uh, Darnold, drop back. Give it, give it, give it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, and my blockers are nowhere to be found. But Le'Veon gets down to the six. All right. Darnold, six for 19. Love to see that. Let's go inside zone. And let's get this in the end zone. Let's punch it in. There we go. We're getting the end zone. Mm, down at the one. Oh, Le'Veon is killing it, though. Um, all right. Stick. I don't know what I want to do here. Do I want to run it here? Maybe. I need one yard. I need one yard. Mm, that was such a bad idea. Oh, you mad and gurus are going to hate me for that. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, all right. Three yard line. I'm probably gonna pass it. I don't know if I want to pass it. I think I trust Le'Veon better than I trust Darnold to pass this ball. Kind of want to run it. Oh God, what am I doing? All right, should I call timeout? I, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. You know what? We're gonna go play action, Darnold. I'm gonna need you to scramble, Darnold. Run. There we go. Uh. Should I run it in? I'm running it in. I'm running it in. There we go. Bang. Let's go. We're up 21-14. Sam Darnold runs it in for our third rushing touchdown of the game. Hey, I'm cool with that. Can we get a stop? No, I didn't want to play the moment, but I guess we will. All right. So, third and one, Chase Young here. It's probably not a good idea to blitz. Um, Let's see what we want to do. I'll control Nagakwe. Sure, we got a four-man rush coming in. Uh, Please, please, please. Gets in per set, and he's got a wide open T.Y. Hilton. <sighs> he's 20 for... Yeah, I'm glad I'm not playing defense. I would rage so hard. So they tied it up 21 apiece, but we are in the red zone with five minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. I cannot mess this up. Uh, let's just get... Let's run it up the gut with Le'Veon. All right, uh, Crowder in motion. Let's get this first down. Uh, two yards, that's all we need. It's a slow running play, but hey, it's going to get the first down, so I don't care. Uh, six yard line, Le'Veon Bell. He's killing it. He's been very good. RPO bubble, sure. Uh... I don't want to run the ball. Yeah, I want to do inside zone here. They are stuck in the box, it looks like, but I feel like they're going to drop back. Well, it's a run play, so they're not going to drop back. Uh, Le'Veon, get through the hole. Down at the one. All right, a five-yard gain for Le'Veon. Four and a half minutes left. Do I pass it here? Now let's toss it. Yeah, because they're going to stack here. I have no idea if this is going to work. All right, come on. Weed blockers on the right. Heard on and Adoga. I guess that's our backup. Let's go get in there. That's Le'Veon's third rushing touchdown of the game. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that. So, uh, can we get a stop? Um, wow. I think we're going to win the game. I think we're going to win. Let's just kick the field goal. Yes, we're going to win. All right. I pick up my first dub. I'll take that. So, we pick up the win. We got some upgrades. So, we'll see who we're going to take on next. I'm not going to play in the next game. I just wanted to change it up, you know. So, we do win 31-21. We beat the Colts at home at the Meadowlands. So, now we're taking on the Baltimore Ravens, who are 12-4 in the AFC Championship game. Can we upset the Ravens and go to the Super Bowl? Can Sam Darnold bring us to the Super Bowl? And he does. We win by seven. All right. Let's freaking go. So, Sam Darnold, let's upgrade you guys immediately. You know what? I feel like we're a hot head. I don't want to mess this up. I want to advance. We're taking on the Seahawks. We're going to beat them, right? I'm not even going to look at Pro Bowls. Uh, do we have any? Who do we have to upgrade? Quinn and Nelson, let's get you to a 95, all right? Let's get you to a 95. Let's win the Super Bowl. Let's win my first Super Bowl, please. 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 I don't want to lose my third. Oh, my God. 
I will never, ever win a Super Bowl. Win a Super Oh my god, I can't even speak. I'll never win a Super Bowl, it seems.